one o'clock, and we are going to go to a Facebook Marketplace deal. Ain't that right, Pops? Yeah, fuck it. Pops don't care. Well, Tommy's going to be going with us as well. Yeah, as you can tell, Pops is so thrilled, his hair's standing on end. Look at it. <laughs> it's scooter speed. You'll see me in Florida. Well, here, let, let's see. Show, the, show the hair standing on end. Yeah. So we're going to head out, and we'll... Uh, we'll hair we'll, standing on end. JM's going to get a deal here. Yep, you damn right we'll get a deal. So we'll see you guys. There we go, a little four action. Gonna uh, gonna go uh, play some golf and stuff. We know Pops is a big fan of golf, ain't you, Pops? Yeah, fuck the golf. <laughs> fuck the golf. Well, guys, we are on the way. We actually have to go to Hodgensville. And if you guys don't know where Hodgensville is, we've been there multiple times before. It's an easy place to get to. It's only about it's about 15 minutes away. Probably not even that. Some t uh, if if you, if you take the back roads, if you take the interstate, it's gonna take a little longer, but. We take the back yeah, roads. Yeah, if you're a big star, you, you'd be like, if, if, if you're a real well-known person, a musician or something, I'll just build. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, my, my manager don't look like a man. Well, when it comes to Hodgensville, Tommy, why don't you tell us what is Hodgensville known for? Abraham Lincoln. It is the birthplace. And, of the and, and it's, also, it's also a big thing. It's called Kirby. Anyway, uh, and, and another big thing I also call Scooter Street Hubby Nagger Looker. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, Hodgesville is the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. And uh, guys, when you go to Hodgesville, all you see is Lincoln shit everywhere. They, they also have a Lincoln Day. Yes, they do. So uh, we'll <laughs> that's see. Where, that's where all the, that's where you can go and see all the twats. <laughs> We'll see you guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Wrestling Rampage. I'm Joey, and today, guys, you guys seen us go to this Facebook Marketplace deal. We had to go all the way to Hodgensville for it, which isn't that far of a drive. It's about a 15, 15 20 minute drive. Nothing that we couldn't do. And, guys, I, uh, we met at. Uh, the parking lot of Hardy's and uh, it's a very nice guy uh, I talked to him on Facebook marketplace about this deal and I ended up picking it up and he gave me a damn good deal on it and he's a very nice guy so I appreciate it uh, he actually told me that he owned a retro video game store and uh, it went out of business and he has a bunch of games that he just doesn't really want anymore or he does just doesn't really want to uh, he says that he's more into, uh, uh, he's more into, uh, streaming and stuff now, so, uh, he just wants to try to get rid of some stuff. He told me about, uh, like an N64 bundle that he has, but it's just kind of out of my price range. Uh, there's like a over a hundred games, he wants like five hundred dollars for him, which is not bad, it comes out to like five dollars a game, but... It's just, that's out of my price range. And then he's looking to get rid of some Sega Saturn games, like 150 of them. And I'm like, I don't even own a Sega Saturn. I have I have like a, four, a couple of Saturn games that I found at Goodwill, but I don't own a Saturn. And uh, I told him, I was like, uh, I just there's nothing I can really do with those right now. Uh, it's a little out of my price range. This was almost out of my price range, but I, I ended up doing some quick math on it. And plus I own this system so and then he was nice enough to throw in some extra stuff too because uh, he he told me that he looked on my facebook page and he goes you're a wrestling fan i go yep and he goes hey i got some dvds i'm gonna throw in as well so he actually threw in some wrestling dvds now sadly enough i already own them but i'm actually gonna give these to tommy because tommy don't own them <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to show you to you anyway. Uh, WWE One Night Stand Extreme Rules 2008. You guys can go watch that in the uh, archives. Uh, me and Tommy actually did a review on this. There it is. Uh, in decent shape. does have some scratching on it. But hey, it is what it is, right? It was free along with the deal. Um, this sells on eBay for 5 bucks, You know, but I got it for uh, free in the deal. Uh... We got Survivor Series 2006. Uh, he told me, he goes, just take them because uh, I have no use for them. I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, it does have a little bit of light scratching on it, but nothing major. And it is complete with the insert, so that's cool. This sold on eBay for about $7. Uh, 
Got that for free as well. And then the history of the WWE Championship. All three discs. Uh, they are they all are in fantastic condition. They're actually I don't even think had yeah these don't even have scratches on them. You know that's damn good. But um yeah see look at that those are clean and uh yeah very clean. Uh, I'm gonna give this to Tom, uh, these DVDs to Tommy because he doesn't own them, and he actually came with the he actually came with me to the Facebook market deal when he didn't want to, when he didn't have to, and I told him, hey, I'll g I'll give you the DVDs if you want them. He goes, uh, all right. So, and this sold on eBay for about seven dollars as well. So I actually got all those for free. Now, uh, this is what I actually picked up, and uh, he actually did throw in an extra game as well into this bundle as well, which I'll show you here in a minute. But uh, there, there's just two PlayStation games, and guys, the rest is nothing but Sega Dreamcast. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, these are some pretty good titles. So, for the PlayStation 1, Largo Winch, Command Soar, I, honestly, guys, I have no idea what the fuck this is. Apparently, somebody paid 15 for it, and then somebody paid $5 for it. And I'll be honest with you guys, I looked on eBay to see how much this is worth. This is worth five bucks. <laughs> uh, but it, it was this was kind of thrown in. I actually bought, I only bought the, 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 the thing because of the Dreamcast selection. Uh, all the Dreamcast games. It does have some scratching on it, but nothing major. Once again, I have no idea anything about this game, but it is worth like five bucks. And it's always nice to have a PlayStation game every, every once in a while, but there's the back if you guys want to look at that. You guys can pause that. Looks like a shooting game. So, yeah. This action hero is money. Well, it's not worth a lot of money, apparently. But that was five bucks. Uh, got it in this Facebook Marketplace deal. And the next PlayStation game, this is actually worth a little bit more than what it's price that for the original PlayStation based on the animated TV series Roswell Conspiracy Aliens Myths and Legends once again complete um, this has some scratching on it but it should play a lot of a lot of the PlayStation games can be pretty fucked up and they'll play but um, this was thrown in as well so uh, Roswell you guys know the whole the whole area 51 thing so Extraterrestrials. Uh, this looks like yeah, this, this. This this I actually might play. I'll be honest with you. This this, this actually looks pretty fun. But uh, got this. Uh, it says a sticker of five bucks. This actually sold on eBay for nine dollars. So that's actually worth a little bit more than the stickered price. And this was thrown in as well. Now this is disc only though. Um. It is for the Dreamcast. It is Fantasy Star Online, and this is just a uh, disc uh, only, and it looks to be in good shape. So, honestly, I don't know anything about Fantasy Star, Fantasy Star Online. I've heard good things about it, but I've never played it. So, I don't know anything about this game. To, but, but I'll be honest with you guys. This loose disc, Fantasy Star Online loose disc, sold on eBay for eleven bucks. So this this was a freebie thrown in uh, for for only uh, you know for free. He only threw this. I didn't even know I was getting this. Um, so uh, this was just thrown in, and it's worth eleven bucks by itself. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, which I'll probably end up getting rid of this, probably selling it maybe, because I don't really need a loose disc copy of this game. Uh, and then I got these two, <clears throat> which these aren't anything great, but it was it was included in the bundle. Uh, Sega Dreamcast web browser, uh, which I see this a lot. I see these at it's it's in fantastic shape. It's complete, uh, which is what this is pretty much. Is this is just for. Uh, like internet use on your on your Dreamcast. Honestly, I have real no use. I have real. I have no real use for this. Uh, but this sold on eBay for five bucks, 
uh, used and complete. And then I got Web Browser 2 as well. So I got both web, web browsers. The case is broken, but I can always replace the case if I wanted to. Uh, and it's complete as well, so there's that. And this also sold for about five bucks, but uh, on eBay. But uh, you know, I don't really need to get on the internet <laughs> on my Dreamcast. But let's get into the actual meat of the matter and a lot of the games that I got. The first game I don't give a shit about, and he actually told me this game's pretty scratched up. Uh, but I don't give a rat's ass about it. But, guys, we were already in some pretty good uh, stuff. Uh, got some pretty good PlayStation 1 games. Got Fantasy Star Online, Loose Disc. Got some uh, WWE DVDs he threw. He just threw in because he's a, he's a hell of a nice guy, and I appreciate it. But Sega All-Stars, Sega Sports NBA 2K. Um, don't really care for the uh, any, any sports games, but uh, this did come in the bundle. Uh, and he told me, I asked him, are any of the games scratched? He said, one of them is pretty scratched up. And it's this one. And as you can tell, it is pretty rough. But, this game is only worth like six bucks complete. It's not a very expensive game. And plus, this is, if any game is scratched and the shittiest one is scratched, I am fine with that. <laughs> So this game is about $6 complete. As you can tell, it is complete. So it is about a $6 game. So um, I might have to get this resurfaced for a, for a dollar or two and probably give it back to its former glory. But that's not a big issue. And then we got, for the Sega Dreamcast, we have, and I own this game already, Sega GT. Now this is a fun game. I actually played this game. I actually really enjoyed it. If you if you're into racing games, you will probably enjoy this game. Open it up. It is broken, but I can always replace it. Uh, in fantastic condition, very very clean. Sega GT for the Dreamcast. This game sold on eBay for ten dollars. This is about a ten dollar game on eBay. Um, and pri oh, and by the way, this is also. Uh, goes with like um uh price charting i actually went by ebay and price charting and they were both accurate this is about a ten dollar game all these games are the the price that i'm telling you is what is what they're on on uh on price charting and ebay so ten dollar game for sega gt but i already own it so i probably will be selling this as well so uh i will be selling the Sega GT and the Fantasy Star Online disc only games. I will be getting rid of those because I don't need them. But let's go ahead and get to the next game. It is also a racing game, but I don't own this. It is F355 Challenge. Uh, made by Acclaim. Acclaim is not the best uh, uh, sports distributor game, but uh, here it is. Very clean, very clean, in nice condition. Uh, this guy actually, uh, I mean, and, and, and I understand because he has a retro video game. Uh, he did own a store. Uh, so, um, uh, you could tell he's been, he actually took care of his game. So, uh, this sold online for 15 bucks complete. That's a pretty good deal on this. Um... Because uh, Dreamcast games are getting kind of expensive, and I'm glad I bought a bundle uh, because uh, I got a good deal on these. But uh, yeah, F three five five challenge, fifteen dollar game, believe it or not. Next game is Air Force Delta, made by Konami. This is like a like a flight simulator game. Uh, you shoot missiles and things of that nature. You got missions and shit. Uh, incredible graphics, fantastic camera views, realistic sounds, and awesome animation. So uh, this this is a common game that I see a lot in like video game stores that we have in in in, in our town. Uh, I've seen this game maybe three or four times, but I never picked it up uh, just because I really, you know. I think they wanted maybe $10 for it. And guys, it's selling for $11 on eBay. So 
uh, it is complete and it is in fantastic condition. So this sold on eBay for eleven dollars complete. Got it. Now I got it. <laughs> Next game kind of goes along the lines of the Air Force Delta. It is Aero Wings 2 Airstrike, made by Crave Entertainment. This seems like a good game. Yeah, some of these uh, some of these cases are cracked, but I can always replace the cases, so it's not it's not a big issue for me. Uh, this is actually in fantastic condition. Look at that. Um. Kind of, kind of goes along the same lines as Air Force Delta, kind of a flight uh, pilot game. So, but this sold on eBay for twenty dollars complete. And by the way, guys, you can always go back and look on eBay sold listings. You guys can all uh, can also go to PriceCharting.com to to let you guys let you guys know that I am not lying about this. Uh, this is where I've got my information from. So this this actually sold for twenty dollars complete. So um, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Let's go with the next game for the Sega Dreamcast. It is Toy Commander. Um, you know, it is a bunch of toys, guys. It's just like a you know a, a helicopter, a racing car, things of that nature, airplane. Um, it's kind of like a kiddie-ish kind of game, if you ask me, but, uh, it is four players, too. You can do, f uh, four players, uh, screen action on here, so, that uh, sounds kind of interesting to me. Open it up. It is complete, uh, in pretty good shape. This sold on eBay, sold listings, uh, pricecharting.com, uh, 15 bucks complete. So, $15 complete on that. Next game I got, which sounds pretty interesting to me, it is MDK2, uh, Out Snipe, Out Shoot, Out Think. And what game would you want to play that has a fucking dog with a fucking gun and a cigar in his mouth? Now that looks pretty badass. But um, three unlikely heroes, one ultimate goal. Sounds interesting to me. Uh, kind of like this kind of style of, uh, of video games, but open it up, complete, fantastic condition. Uh, this game sold on eBay for $16 complete. Boom. $16 complete right there. Next game. Next game is... For the Dreamcast, Ooga Booga. I don't, I don't know a fucking thing about this game, but uh, online multiplayer, uh, Ooga Booga. Says a multiplayer combat, kind of with a tropical punch. Sounds, uh, sounds interesting to me, I guess. But, uh, yeah. So you can unlock secret characters and islands. Uh, it's a wacky world, a Poly Polynesian game world. Um, pretty much you battle. So that might be interesting to play. Open it up. Complete. In fantastic condition. So that is awesome. And this sold on eBay for $20. $20 complete game. Like I said, these are kind of ho uh, higher-end games. Uh, because as you guys know, especially if you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, I do not like to spend uh, like $20 on games if I don't have to. And uh, So, next game. And guys, this is the only game that I have that isn't that didn't really uh, include its manual. Which is kind of sad because this is a this is a pretty high dollar game. If it was complete, it would have been like forty dollars. Believe it or not, uh, go look at price charting. Go look at eBay. Sega Bass Fishing Two. I already owned Sega Bass Fishing One, 
And my actual, my game is actually complete. And I actually enjoyed playing that game. I actually played it. I actually enjoyed it. This is actually the predecessor uh, for, for, well, the uh, the sequel, excuse me, to that. It is uh, Sega Bass Fishing 2. Um, it does have its back, so it is it is almost complete. <laughs> the only thing is it's missing it's, it's missing the manual. I asked him, does, does he have the manual? He said no. Um, in pretty good condition. There are some fingerprints on this on this disc, but it's not bad. There's the boat. Um, believe it or not, this game is about a about a loose disc. This game is about a thirty dollar game. So just this disc alone. Uh, well, sorry, disc only. It's it's about twenty dollars. But I assume with its case, which it, it does have its case, it's about thirty dollars. But if I have the manual. This is a $40 game, believe it or not. That's, this is probably one of the higher-end games that I got out of this lot, but it dropped down a level because it's missing the manual. But that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good score on that. Uh, plus, I did enjoy the Sega Bass Fishing 1, so I was like, Sega Bass Fishing 2 is probably going to be pretty cool too. Then I got this game. This game I already own, so I, probably, I will be selling this one as well to kind of recoup some money back. And this game is a fantastic game, by the way, if you guys have never played it. I'm still in the process of beating it. Shamu won for the Dreamcast. Uh, it is missing the manual that comes inside, but all the discs are here, though. See? And they're all in fantastic shape. So it's only missing the manual, so it's not a big issue. And the discs are in fantastic condition. It is a four disc game, if you guys do not know. <laughs> One of the more expensive uh, uh, games that ever got released. As far as expensive to make, I should say. And then you got the Passport. Like I said, all, all these are in fantastic condition. Uh, so I will be selling this game. And guys, this game... Uh, with a missing manual, sells on eBay for 25 bucks. So, that's a good deal for this. Uh, 25 bucks. I actually paid, I think I paid 30 for mine, and it did come with the manuals. So, uh, you know, with it just missing the manuals, uh, 25 bucks for this game. That's a pretty good deal. But I will be selling this because I already own it. So, these are the games I'll probably end up selling because I already own them. So, uh, if anybody's interested, let me know. <laughs> and uh, I'll, 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 I'll even cut you a deal. But uh, next game I got is, for the Dreamcast, Alien Front Online. Real-time voice chat microphone included. The microphone did not uh, come included in this, by the way. Open it up. It is complete. Fantastic condition as usual, and uh, pretty much what this is like. Uh, you can you can either be the army to take out the aliens, or you can be the aliens to try to uh, take out the army uh, with like uh, hellfire missiles, nuclear strikes. Uh, man, uh, this sounds like a pretty awesome game. Uh, this game sold on eBay for $16 complete. Pretty good deal if you ask me. Um, this is probably one of the one games I'll probably be playing probably after this video. <laughs> uh, next game I got, and this is, the, this is the one reason why I am selling this uh, disc only, is because I got this. <laughs> It's Fantasy Star Online. It's the uh, it's the game. Open it up. It is complete with the disc and manuals, and uh, we got the. Uh, it's in fantastic condition, and if we open up right here, it did come with Sonic Adventure Two: The Trial. So. That seems pretty fun. So it, it did come with a bonus disc, and the bonus disc is uh, Sonic uh, 
Adventure 2 The Trial. So it's a trial uh, demo disc for... Uh, See, so yeah, it says demo included Sonic Adventure 2. So that seems pretty cool. I I've heard nothing but great things about Fantasy Star Online. I've never played it, but I'm interested in playing it. So would be uh, pretty interested to play this. This sold online complete for 20 bucks. So loose disc, it's about it's worth about 10 to 11 bucks, but complete, it's worth 20. And you can't go with Fantasy Star Online 1 without having Fantasy Star Online version 2. Um, this is included as well. Uh, it is complete as well. And then we have the disc in fantastic condition. And there's a Sonic Adventure uh, 2. Uh, but yeah. Uh, this is uh, version 2. Honestly, I don't really know anything about these games whatsoever. So if you guys let me know. Because uh, I do not know. So if you guys have played these before and you guys enjoy them, let me know. Because I'm very interested in playing. But uh, version 2 actually sold online for $20 as well. This is actually a little harder to find than the original Fantasy Star Online. So... Uh, but it is only worth like 20 bucks. But there you guys go on that. And guys, we got two We got two more games left. I told you I got a big bundle on this one. This is from uh, Sega Dreamcast. It is Star Lancer. Which looks kind of like a... Uh, like a space game. So, yeah, Galaxy... Squadron, Deathmatch Battles. That sounds pretty damn fun. Uh, open it up. It is complete. In pretty good condition. Star Lancer. And if you guys can look right there, it does have a price tag of 35 bucks, which is kind of close to what it's worth. This game complete sells for 30 bucks, And I got it now. <laughs> And guys, the last game that I picked up in this Facebook Marketplace deal is for the Sega Dreamcast. It is Death Crimson OX. Um, case is cracked, but I can always replace these cases. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the cases are cracked, but I can always replace these cases. That's not a big issue with me. Uh, open it up. It is complete with manual. There is the game in perfect condition. Look at that. Perfect condition. And, uh, this sounds pretty fun, uh, as well. Uh, Deb, De uh, Crimson Destroys Your Soul from 2010, even though this game came out in, where did this come out? Maybe 2000, maybe? So, uh, 10 years in the future. <laughs> but this seems like a fun game, too. This sold on eBay complete for 30 bucks. Now, what you're wondering is, with all this stuff that you see right here, you see all of it, how much is that on eBay, you would say? It, on eBay, would have costed $338. But, uh, the guy on Facebook Marketplace wanted, he, he, he wanted $200 for all these games. Which is still a pretty good deal because overall it's still over $338. But I wrote him and I said, Would you take $125? Because, you know, once again, he owned a retro video game store. He knows what he has and all this good stuff. And he goes, Well, how about we meet in the middle at $150? And I said, Okay, good deal. Uh, and then I went. To, uh, we went to Hodgesville, picked it up, came back here. You guys see everything that I picked up. And once again, guys, I will be selling these. So if you're interested, Fantasy Star Online disc only. Uh, Shamu with a missing manual. Still a great game though. And Sega GT. Let me know. But guys, I only paid a hundred and fifty bucks for all these Dreamcast games, a couple PlayStation games, and these. Uh, these uh, wrestling DVDs that he threw in, which was very nice of him. 
So guys, that's a total savings of 188 bucks. And as you guys know, I've been really collecting Dreamcast games lately. Um, if you guys have been watching the channel, so with these, that is fantastic. That's a fantastic score. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. It is a fucking a fucking smorgasbord of Dreamcast games, guys. I mean, it's it's insane. Uh, but I've been really collecting Dreamcast lately, pretty heavily. So. Um, yeah, a lot of Dreamcast games here. And only one sports game, imagine that. <laughs> Usually with a lot of Dreamcast bundles, there's always a bunch of sports games in them. But, yeah, and as you can see, I wrote down all, I wrote down everything. And it says right here, eBay would have been $338, but I got it on Facebook Marketplace for $150. That's a total savings of 188 bucks. Uh, if I would have bought all this stuff on eBay, uh, like I said, I pretty much, I pretty much got all this stuff for about half of what it's worth. So uh, I'm very happy about that, uh, and that's the way I like to shop. <laughs> so hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all of our social media. Like us on Facebook, facebookcom rampage 2 Follow us on Twitter. At Russell Rampage, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.